Good morning. Thank you all for joining us today for our first ever business symposium. Our goal today is to help connect you with resources and opportunities available to help you grow, expand, or start your business. Small businesses have created 65% of net new job growth over the last 15 years. That's why it's important that we hold events like this to support local businesses, your businesses. Supporting your hard work will help strengthen our region's economy. I want to apologize that I can't be there with you today. Last night, Governor Cuomo called the legislature back for an extraordinary session starting today at noon. We're here in Albany to discuss new initiatives to improve New York's economy. Fighting for economic development and job creation has always been my top priority, and it's a good sign for New York that our state government is working together toward the common goals of fostering business growth, strengthening the middle class, and putting people back to work. Since taking office, the governor has been focused on rebuilding our economy. As a ranking member of the Senate Committee on Commerce, Economic Development, and Small Business, I've partnered with the governor on many issues to help create jobs and spark economic development. I'm looking forward to continuing to review the governor's new proposals, which carry significant potential for the state economy. Many people are calling this past legislative session the most productive in a generation. It was very successful in many ways, including the initiatives we launched to help spark economic development and job creation. This year, the Western New York delegation successfully fought for SUNY 2020, which will spark the advancement of the University of Buffalo's long-stalled UB 2020 vision. It will create jobs and spur economic development opportunities for all of Western New York. We also succeeded in passing the property tax cap which is an important first step toward reducing our state's tax burden. We passed an on-time budget that closed a $10 billion deficit without raising taxes. We improved the Excelsior Jobs Program by expanding and extending it. The steps we took will ensure that this program helps create new jobs in high growth industries. We enacted the Recharge New York Program, which will help us reduce energy costs for many job creating businesses. We've also taken action to capitalize on New York's unique economic strengths by launching the Regional Economic Development Councils. This new system improves the efficiency of current economic development programs by encouraging cooperation and competition. We've accomplished some great things over the past year and we're just getting started. Our focus must remain on job creation. It needs to be our top priority. Unemployment is still stubbornly high and Western New York is still fighting to climb up the road to economic recovery. We need to incentivize job growth and help improve the business climate in New York State. My priorities to help foster business growth in Western New York focuses on three strategic areas. Getting you off the ground, getting government out of your way, and getting you the tools you need to grow your business. First, we need to help you get off the ground. In this current economy, many small businesses have struggled as frozen credit markets have made it tough to finance startup or expansion costs. That's why we need to expand the state's small business revolving loan fund, which will create economic activity by providing greater access to capital for Main Street small businesses. I'm also focused on working to turn ideas and research into new jobs. At places like the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus, Innovative discoveries are being made, which will not only benefit society, but they will also provide a boost to our local economy. We need to get government out of your way. The state's tax burden has always been a headline-grabbing challenge for businesses throughout New York. But there's another barrier to business growth that doesn't receive the attention it's due. And those are the extremely high fees that the state's bureaucracy imposes on businesses. We need to reduce the unfair taxes and fees on local businesses. Energy costs are another major concern. There are programs out there to help, but we need to make it easier for businesses to navigate the energy assistance process. An economy can only be as strong as its workforce. That means we need to get Western New Yorkers ready for the jobs of the 21st century. I'm sponsoring legislation to provide employers with a 5% tax credit for employee training. As a voice for Western New York and Albany, I've been working very hard to help Western New York get what we deserve. We need to ensure that low-cost power produced in Niagara Falls benefits our local economy. The New York Power Authority makes money off the sale of our low-cost power. 
My colleagues and I in the Western New York delegation believe strongly that those proceeds should be used to spark business development right here in Western New York. I've also been fighting to get the Department of Transportation to fix a mistake they made when calculating allocation formulas a few years ago, back in 2008-2009. Their mistake cost Western New York about $167 million. This issue must be addressed. Western New York deserves to get its fair share of state infrastructure funding. This will remain a top priority for me until it's resolved. And like I said, job creation and economic development remain at the top of my agenda. We're going to continue to keep you posted on our progress, and I look forward to working with all of you to help foster business growth here in Western New York. If, if you have any questions, please feel free to discuss them with my staff who are here today. Thank you again for joining us at our first ever business symposium. I hope everyone got enough to eat, and I hope you all enjoy your day. Please take advantage of the opportunities available here to connect with resources that can help you grow your businesses. I look forward to continuing to work with you into the future. Happy holidays.